the epigenetic theory of hair loss hi i am dr arvind poswal from dr hayes clinic delhi india today we will be talking about what really causes hair loss because once we understand the true nature of hair loss then only we can cure it i'll go away from the simplistic theory of testosterone causing hair loss the old theory was that testosterone produces dht dihydrotestosterone which then causes hair loss so if uh, dht were solely responsible for our hair loss then we should all be turning bald at around the age of 20 that is the time when our body has its peak testosterone levels and peak dht levels however we see two things one is that hair loss does not occur at that age it occurs usually much later somewhere around 30s even 40 so there must be some other predisposing factor apart from dht alone the second thing is that uh, even though hair loss or male pattern baldness is called genetic we have noticed some crucial things now these are relevant especially for developing countries like india where there has been a huge change in the dietary pattern in past 20 to 30 years that is in the past one generation whereas before that time most of the people used to eat home cooked food and there were not many chemicals preservatives or such things in the foods over the last 20 years or so this thing has uh, deteriorated people are also taking preservative laden food chemical laden food taking ready to cook meals and pre cooked foods whereas in developed countries the same transition had occurred around 40 50 years ago but let's come back to the problem so the problem is that now in this generation the hair loss is occurring almost 10 to 15 years before what it occurred in the previous generation now if it were only genetic one would expect it to occur at a similar age group not at a difference of 10 to 15 years so both of these factors if we put together and then couple it with recent anti aging research now then we have something else entirely because recent research shows that there is a weakening of the root sheaths of the hair follicle and the stem cells inside the follicles actually escape from the hair follicle outside the root sheath so why would the stem cells be escaping the root sheath and why would dht be causing hair loss at a increasingly younger age so one possible explanation is weakening of our hair follicle due to the environmental or epigenetic conditions so one thing we understand by environment about our atmosphere the food we eat the water we drink the things which come in contact with our body or with our hair specifically so these are one thing but epigenome is the environment of our genes they also have a environment it can be full of nutritious things like omega acids biotin helpful things all vitamins and nutrition if it is full of those things what will happen the stem cells will have all the nutrients they need they'll have all the things in exact way there won't be any oxidative stress no environmental stress and they will multiply and give healthy hair growth now imagine the same situation in which all these necessary nutrients are missing or are deficient and then there are also chemical pollutants harmful things in terms of the form of preservatives etc so that actually harms the environment of the genes and it's not difficult to imagine the stem cells also get affected by this they stop multiplying and increasingly they escape from the hair follicle as a result the hair follicles become shorter and shorter and ultimately dies does dht have a role to play yes of course it has but my main belief is that it does not have the sole role